is up guys it is me the king caleb coho and we are back for another round of the fandom fight singles tournament i am joined as always by my 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 co-host my co-creator of this division stock footage kane mcmillan what is up my dude I can't wait to see these guys play. I think this is one of the match where, even though there's a difference in seeds, that it can also go either way. Um, I think both of these competitors are hungry. Both of these competitors want to win really bad. And both of these competitors played also in a play-in match over in movies, and neither of them ended up getting the win. So I think both of these guys want this win really bad. And you know what? I can't wait to see who wins. But we're also not alone. We got Mr. Emperor Palpatine himself, TM Smith. Oh, of course you're not alone without me. Caleb can't do it all by himself. He needs somebody here with him. Uh, <laughs> but no, it is like just to harken on what you said, Kane. These two are hungry for that first win with everything. So it is going to be good to see how well they do. I think this is more uh, a better battleground area for them because both of them are very these categories familiar with these franchises so i think they'll have a very good showing honestly i agree All right, um i i just i have a uh i have a bit of a problem here i uh this is like with this last super bowl that we just had can both these guys lose is this a possibility uh See, I've got beef with both these guys. See, Woodburn, Woodburn ditched me back in Jote as my team partner, and then, uh, and then a, just abandoned me out of nowhere, and then kept calling me out, and it never happened. And Nico, you know, I feel like I've kind of resolved our beef a bit, you know, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and all. Do but, not start uh, that shit with me. Do not start <laughs> that shit. But I, I, you know, it's hard to root for the Dagnino of this league uh, in the form of Nico, but. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's hear what these guys have to say. Can you want to kick it over to interviews? Yeah, I want to go to our higher ranked competitor today. Even though everyone's same record, we just ranked him a little bit higher. Woodburn, you are essentially the encyclopedia when it comes to the, the Dark Knight trilogy with Christopher Nolan. Like, you think that like your knowledge when it comes to like comic book movies and everything in general, then they'll give you a one up on the Cosmic Knight theory himself, or do you think the dreaded realm of animated pictures scares you a little bit well yeah i don't like that cartoon crap i won't lie it is a weakness for me i know nico's been studying up on that as well as harry potter so uh i mean this is gonna be a fun match i've faced nico many times and uh hopefully i can come out with a w yeah i think it will definitely be a fun match i think it might be one of our Possible closer matches um, when it comes to round number one. But I'm going to send it to the Cosmic Knight for the man who has not sat down in six hours. So, Nico, what's up? First off, I'm the Jay Washington of these leagues. Tom Dagnino can kiss my ass. I have guys who, I have credible people in my stable. I've got the someone who's fighting for the number one contendership over in There Will Be Trivia. I've got Jen Kemp. I've got the reigning full metal trivia champion who just beat you, Mr. McMillan, Jessica Morgan. I've got Matthew Rosa, the kid who never quits and who keeps surprising everybody. I've got Zaddyus Seaman Smith, the guy who is in contention for the Arrowverse Championship. And as for this tournament, there are three types of people in this tournament. There are the guys who will win, like Jessica Morgan. There are the guys who won't win, like Kane McMillan. And then there are guys who can win, like me and Mr. Coho over here. I need to prove to everybody who believes that I can win this tournament, I need to prove them right. And tonight, I plan on doing exactly that. Okay, so Woodburn, you are starting off with an extra five points. Um, we don't deal with trash talk against the announcers. So, Woodburn, you're starting off with five points. <laughs> you, brought you brought this on yourself. I saw the stuff you said. Release the anger. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad he's fitting into his role um, quite well. But again, Nico, talk to me when you have a belt. So, yeah. All right. Oh. Caleb, you want to take oh. a bite? Okay. I had one before you yeah, did. I, I will. Long before you did. I still have one, though. So. Yeah, because I you will. Can't get a a match. Second. You can't get a match. Not my problem. I, I said I'll play anyone. Oh, anyone. Okay. That's for a different league. Caleb, let's go. All right. Introducing first. 
representing House Night Fury and the Afro Samurai. He is the Cosmic Night Fury, Nico Suave Rigoli. Ah! And his opponent, he is Collider Superfan number one. You can find him on all the tree leagues. He is Christopher C. Dub Woodburn. I think we should get. I think we should just get going. All right. Uh, I'm taking odds, and you are taking evens. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so you want to explain round number one first? Yep. Okay. All right, guys. So round one's going to work like this. You're going to be administered ten questions. This is our whiteboard round, uh, where you'll be asked to verbalize your answer as well as have it written down to show that whiteboard to us. Uh, you'll be getting the same 10 questions. They're each worth one point. You have three repeats throughout the round and one challenge. Uh, if you if you uh, throw your challenge uh, and you do not win, you lose it. But if you do win it, you get to use it again. Are there any questions, gentlemen? Nope, I'm good to go, except you said three repeats per round. Or not I'm per sure round, I meant for win. the match. For the match. That's my bad. I'm still trying to work out the kinks of my intros. All right. All right, so practice, round number practice, one. Practice. I know practice, practice makes perfect. Round number one, your first question comes from the category of the MCU. As of the year 2018, which director has directed the most MCU films? Yeah, I admit, um, I think these people are quite good at their job, so I think they keep getting more, like, spots i i don't think they're going to be done with the mcu anytime soon either um yeah nice. the, i think batman v superman is a fantastically terrible film well absolutely absolutely uh unless you count the director's cut Great. Uh, no it's still terrible too <laughs> one there's no redeeming qualities let's we'll start with woodburn russo brothers that is that correct, is correct for one point nico. all right nico Anthony and Joe, the Russos. That is correct for one point. All right. Next question is in Pixar. What legendary actor provided the voice of Doc Hudson in Cars? You know what? I like the first one a lot. I don't care what people say. The first Cars is my favorite Pixar movie, personally. As That's my favorite. So. All right. Kids in your cars. We like hey, I, I think I think Ratatouille is the best one. The Cars is my favorite. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark is down. Nico. Is it Ed Asner? It is not Ed Asner. Ooh. Woodburn. Well, I'm just happy Nico didn't get it. I know it's not George Went. I know he mm. was in Toy Story. No, we were looking no. for Paul Newman. Wow. Nico All missing right. his strength. So that doesn't cost him. Hold on, let me get a different marker. It's a good thing we can edit. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. All right. All right, your third question comes from the realm of DC movies. Who voiced Two-Face in the Lego Batman movie? I like this movie a lot. I do too. I watched it again the other day. I saw it three times in theaters. It's just really fun. It is very fun, and sadly, I didn't see it until it was already like out of theaters. So oh, I could not experience it. I remember yeah, when I saw the I, first Lego movie, I got forced to see it, and I did not make that mistake four, with Batman. Three. I heard Ninjago wasn't that good, too. I didn't see One. it. Marker is down. We'll go to Woodburn. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, Nico. Ooh. Lando Calrissian himself, Billy D. Williams. I That's thought I was going to say Donald Glover for a second, but nope. You got it right. That is correct. All right. Really next question is: the only Lando. Uh, Donald Glover is really good. So he's actually very good. Over there. Sweet Billy. Um, next question is in the category of Fast and Furious. Which DCEU director wrote the Fast and the Furious? Uh, the the DCEU. It exists. Yeah, it does. Uh, and uh, 
there are a couple movies in there that I like, and there's a couple that I don't like so much, and one that I absolutely despise. There's one that I like, one that's okay, and the rest are all terrible. Five. Okay. Four. I'm three, assuming, is Man two, of Steel the one that you like? One. Wonder Woman. Is it put markers down. Wonder I mean, the kind of like one. Anyway. Uh, that's okay. Yes, it's Man of Steel. I think the first two acts are very good. Final act falls apart. Wood okay. Anyway. Woodburn. Oh, David Ayer. That's correct for one point. Nico. I had James Wan. Ooh. Ooh. He is a, G- he he is a DCEU like director. Movie. And he did work on Fast and Furious movies, so that was a good pull. Um, all right. Your next question comes from the category of Marvel movies. Which X-Men film centers around the government developing a cure for mutants? <laughs> I think... Um, the X-Men in the MCU is something that will probably happen. I don't know how they'll do it, though. I really just don't want it to be that Professor X was Five, hiding mutants for the last four, 80 years of the MCU. Three. Yeah, because that wouldn't make sense at all. Two. One. Mark this down. We'll go to Nico. Um, X-Men 2, X2, I forgot the title. That uh, is incorrect. And Woodburn. Woodburn. X-Men The Last Stand. That is correct for one point. That's correct. All right, so after five questions, we have Woodburn in the lead with three, but Nico's right behind him with two. It's not a super high-scoring match, but you know what? These competitors are competing. They're keeping it close, and we're going to go to our next category, which is Bond, James Bond. All right, the question is, who plays M in Spectre? This one, I felt... Could have been a good end to the Daniel Craig movies, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't have left a good taste in my mouth. Uh, I, I, I kind of want them just to redo Bond. Just like, let's just redo it. Like, but we don't need. I, to I don't know. Whole thing. I don't know about a Bond twenty five right now. Yeah, I think it would be better if there was no Daniel Craig. Five. I think Daniel Craig is my favorite Four. James Bond, but we'll see. Three, two, one. Markers down. We'll go to Woodburn. I'm not confident with this. Is it Dame Judy Dench? Oh no! It is incorrect. Not. One movie Dame behind. Nico. Gary Oldman. That is also incorrect. Right. We're looking for Ray Fiennes. Ah, uh, Voldemort. Yes. All right. Your next question comes from the world of Disney movies. Disney. What is the name of Quasimodo's love interest in The Hunchback of Notre Dame? This is a very underrated Disney movie. This better be the last cartoon question. Nope. Don't get your hands up on that. I mean in this round, Nico. <laughs> uh, Woodburn does not like his cartoons. Five, four, three, two, one. Nico. Esmeralda. That is correct. And Woodburn, did you pull it? No, I got shit fart. <laughs> mm, Very is. appropriate for a kid's movie. All right. <laughs> All right, the next question is in scores and soundtracks. What song plays at the end of Deadpool? For kids' movies appropriation, apparently you haven't seen Sausage. Damn it, I know the song, but I don't know if I, if I know the title to it. Yep, we need the title. Five, four, three... Oh, let me get a repeat on that. All right, that'll count as your first repeat of the game. What song plays at the end of Deadpool? It's a very uh, fun film. Uh, the sequel just came out. Don't want to spoil it, but hey, you know what? It's there. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. I think it's a good film. I just don't think it's as good as the first. It uh, exists. It's hard Four. for a lot of films to do that Three. to be as good as the Two. first game. One. Especially with David Leach directing. Marker is down. Woodburn, did you pull it? I'm not sure if this is the title. Is it I'm Never Gonna Dance Again? That no, it's not. not. Nico. I had I'm All Out of Love. No, mm. we're looking for Careless Whisper. Mm. Woodburn, you had the I'm right never song. Gonna dance wrong again. Title. That is part of the lyrics, though, right? Yes. Yeah, it is. You had the right song, wrong title. Because he's going to boombox yeah. Careless Whisper outside her window. All right. Your penultimate question comes from the realm of the Wizarding World. What Marvel Netflix actor 
plays Barty Crouch Jr. in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I think Robert Parker uh, and Jim Green are streaming right now. Uh, I know Jim is a massive Whovian, so uh, he also knows uh, people like this. Mm. Five, four, three, a two, a one. Marker's down. We'll go to Nico. Hillgrave, David Tennant. That is correct. Correct. And Woodburn. Nico, you didn't spell that right. David Tennant. It's good. This spelling correction. does not count. No, I know. I'm just let. I'm just letting him know. All right. The last and final question in round number one is from the category of the D C E U. One thing that people it's there. Which DC villain died from a head wound in Suicide Squad? This is my least favorite uh, film of the de- of the decade. Actually, I hate this movie. Yeah, and I think Tim can be proud. I did not call it the Oscar award-winning Suicide Squad. Thank you. Which, ah. it's, it should have been Four. Star Trek Beyond. Three, that is true. Yes, Two, one, markers down, Woodburn. I was going to write El Diablo, but I know that's not right. It was not El Diablo. Nico, to take the lead. Slipknot. It, it was, was not and you, that is the lead. Nice. All right, so at the end of round one, Nico, you're in the lead with five points, and Chris is right behind him with four. I think uh, Nico getting that pool on the DCEU is pretty huge, especially since I was one of Woodburn's strengths. So let's see if that plays into action when it comes to round number two, which round number two will work like this. I'm going to pull up a fantabulous, fantastic-looking wheel with all our categories that will be on the wheel today which is Middle Earth, Star Trek, Wizarding World, Scores and Soundtracks, Disney, DC, Pixar, DCEU, and there's also Player's Choice and Opponent's Choice on the wheel. Nico, you are in the lead. You would be able to choose whether you want to go first or go second, but you, no matter what, there will be five questions asked on whatever category it lands on. If you don't like the category, you can spin it again. There is stealing and there is multiple choice in this round. All right, Nico, would you like to spin? Or defer to Nico Woodburn. I'm going to defer. All right. Woodburn, you are up. All right, and it lands on All right. scores and soundtracks. Would you like to keep it? Hmm. See, if this was just composer questions, I would take it, but songs I'm, I'm not that strong with, so I'm going to spin again. All right, he is spinning again, and whatever it lands on, you are stuck with it. It lands on scores and soundtracks. <laughs> Okay, as long as, it's not car- as long as it's not the cartoon crap. All right, and I will be issuing your score. Disney has, a lot of, Disney has a lot of songs, so you you might be in for a rough night. All right, I will be issuing you your questions for scores and these soundtracks. Your first question is, who composed the score for Nightmare Before Christmas? Um, That would be... Um, shit, why am I... Oh, um, Give me a five count. Five, four, three, two. You do have multiple choice. One. Danny Elfman. That is two two points. points. Isn't it? I I would would have been so mad if I couldn't remember his name. Yep. And hey, that's a cartoon question you got, and you survived. So, hey. Well, because he works with Burton Burton frequently. Yeah, that is true. Your next question is, what Dolly Parton song plays at the beginning of Deadpool 2 as he is on a killing spree? Jeez. Uh, multiple choice. All right. Is it A, I Will Always Love You, B, 9 to 5, C, Jolene, or D, Rockin' Years? Hold on. I didn't understand the last two you said. All right. I will repeat those for you. Is it A, I Will Always Love You, B, 9 to 5, C, Jolene, or D, Rockin' Years? Ah. <sighs> None of these options like really stand Five. out to me, so one, I will guess three. A. A. I will always love you is incorrect, Nico, for one point steal. Working nine to five, gonna try to make a living. That is correct for one point. Uh, don't Tie play it Why do I not remember that song being played? Uh, he says, "Hit it, Dolly," and it plays nine to five. Hmm. All right. Question. Next question is, who composed the music for? 
Kong Skull Island. Huh, I didn't hear all of that. That won't count against you. Uh, who composed the music for Kong Skull Island? <sighs> Monster movies are included in this? Okay. Yes, it's from the category uh, of Kai. Shit. Multiple choice. All right, is it A, Michael Giacchino, C, B, John Outman, C, Christopher Young, or D, Henry Jack? And if you need me to repeat those because I kind of stumbled, I will give no, you No, actually, I've heard them. Okay. Is it, uh, shit, B, John Outman? B, John Outman is incorrect. Nico, for a one-point steal. Can you repeat the choices? Yes, is it A, Michael Giacchino, B, John Outman, C, Christopher Young, D, Henry Jackman? Is it Henry Jackman? It is Henry another, Jackman for one another point. one point steal by Nico. Wow. All right. Nico. I mean, not Nico. Woodburn. Your next question is What is the end credit song for Fast and the Furious 6? This is my favorite. Fast okay. 6. Uh, uh, man, you almost got me there. I was about to say this because uh, I was thinking 7, the movie where Paul Walker, part 6. Gonna give you a five. Uh, Five, four, three. Multiple two. choice. I'm All not right. one out here. Is it A, we own it? B, see you again? C, how we roll? Or D, good life? Hold on, repeat them again, please. Yes, is it A, we own it? B, see you again? C, how we roll? Or D, good life? Five, four, Three, two, see. one. See how we roll is incorrect, Nico, for a one-point steal. Repeat the choices one more time. Yes. Is it A, we own it, B, see you again, C, how we roll, or D, good life? I'm going to say we own it. That is right for a one-point steal. Hold up, hold up. Uh they play that song at the opening of the movie. Yeah, that yes. is the end credit. Yeah, it's it the, the end. Credit. Is the end credits? It's both credits, so it's it's the same thing. It's pretty much the song for the movie. So it is. It is the song for the movie. So, yes. all right. Final question, Woodburn. Who composed the score for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. Five, four, three. Let me two. get a repeat, please. Right, that count as your second repeat. Who composed the score for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Patrick Doyle. That's correct for two points. That is a huge two points to finish his round two because that ties it up. Nico and Woodburn, you are both at number eight. But hey, guess what? Um, what? Nico, you're up. As I pull back the wheel. All right, your spin, Nico, is going to be in the category of player's choice. Oh, that is huge. Would you like me to give you the categories? Uh, no. I, I got this. All right. What would you like? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Can I give you a five? I know. I know I'm going to go with Disney because I know he can't steal that. All right. All right. So I will be administering to you your round two questions from the realm of Disney. Your first question. In Frozen. What is the name of Kristoff's reindeer? Sven. That's correct for two points. All right. Your second question. Who plays Cinderella in 2015's Cinderella? Um, I know this answer. In which case, multiple choice. <laughs> All right. Your options are A, Emma Stone. B, Emma Watson. C, Lily Collins, or D, Lily James? Is it Lily Collins? That is incorrect. Woodburn for the chance to steal. Lily James. That is correct for one point. Yeah! All right, your third question. 
What year saw the release of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? He's also good at movie release dates, so multiple choice. Your options are A, 1935, B, 1936, C, 1937, or D, 1938. 37. That is correct for one point. Your penultimate oh, question in the realm of Disney. What does Aladdin and Abu steal in the beginning of the movie Aladdin? Bread. That is correct for two points. Your final question in the realm of Disney. What is the name of the kid's father in Mary Poppins? Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, for first and last. First and last? Yes. Multiple choice. <laughs> Your options are A, Robert Banks, B, George Banks, C, David Banks, or D, Chris Banks, and E, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. And F, you are a dick. Uh, <laughs> um, five, four. Repeat the choices one three. more time. Your options are A, Robert Banks, B, George Banks, C, David Banks, or D, Chris Banks. I said C and D backwards, I think. I think it's George Banks. That's correct for one point. Dang. I was praying. I knew that one too. So at the end of round one, Nico is in the lead with 14, and Woodburn's behind him with nine. Round two, Caleb. Round two. I said going into round three. Woodburn, you need to calm down. You All said right, at the end of round one. Yeah, you did um, say at the end of round one. You know what? It's been a long day of recording, Woodburn. Calm down. At the end of round two, uh, Nico's in the lead with 14, and Chris is right behind him with nine as we go into round two. Three. Round three is going to work like this. Uh, both competitors will need their whiteboards again, so they will be asked the same five questions. Uh, before each question, you will hear what category it's from, and in that, at that time, you will be uh, asked to place a bet between zero and two points. Uh, you wager those points, and then you answer the question. Uh, there will be five of these. You can wager once again between zero and two points. Are there any questions, gentlemen? I'm a little surprised you can't bet up to three, but okay. The way we have the rules. All right. First question is in the category of kaiju. How much would you like to bet? Quick question. Um, what is kaiju? Monsters. Okay. Um. Just write it down on your board. Four. Write it down. Who, who's revealing Two. first? Uh, I will. That's not going to be revealed. So okay. Write about your betting. We need What's your doing? bets down. How much are you betting? Uh, one point. One point. All right. Nico. And Nico. Zero. Zero. All right. Nico, you can play along for fun, but Woodburn, it's all on you. All right, the question is in the ca category of kaiju. Your question is, what year saw the release of Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla? Hold on. Did, can you... I didn't hear all of that. I, I it sounded like you said Godzilla. I did say Godzilla. I said, "What year saw the release of Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla?" <sighs> I'm going to give you guys a five count: five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Woodburn, what do you have? I don't know. Is it 1979? That is incorrect. Nico, were you playing along at home? 1987. Oh, you are incorrect. But hey, didn't lose anything. Ward Burn, you lost a point, bringing you down to eight points. Uh, that we're looking for 1974. Mm -hmm. All right. Current uh, score recap: Woodburn is now at eight, and Nico is at 14. All right. Ward Burn, right, gentlemen, catching up soon. Your next category is Pixar. Pixar. How many oh, come on. do you want to be How many? <sighs> Points are you willing to bet here on Pixar? We'll give you five, four, three, two, one. Nico, how many points are you betting? Uh, one. One. And Chris, how many are you betting? I got to go two. All right. Your question is, name both of the Pixar films to be nominated for Best Picture. At the Oscars. At the Oscars. Because maybe at Caleb's, they're all, all of them are. Okay. 
Just because the co Oscars nominated Coco doesn't mean they always are nominated. Okay, settle. <laughs> All right. Maybe you guys have five count. Five, four, three, two, one. Marker is down. All right. Woodburn, what do you have? Is it up and inside out? Half right. That is incorrect. Nico. I had Finding Nemo and the Incredibles. Incorrect. We're looking for Up and Toy Story 3. Damn it! I debated between that and... So Woodburn loses two and Nico loses one. 13 to 6. 13 yep. to 6 is the score. All right. Next category is in the M, C, U. Okay. How much would you guys like to bet? I'm betting two points. All right. Uh, supposed to wait until I ask, but... Nico, how much are you betting? Give me a minute. I'm going to do some math here. I'm giving you guys a five count. Five, four, three, two, zero, one, zero. All right. All right. Woodburn, Nico. I'm betting two. Is, I know. Question is in the MCU. Question is, in Thor, what does Thor initially request to buy from the pet store? Uh, Write it down on your whiteboards. Nico is regarding not betting any points. That is true. The strategy of round three. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Woodburn, did you get it? Four. That's correct That's for two points. points. Nico, did you have it at home? Horse. All right. All right. So the score is 13 to eight here. No, Woodburn five point game. Back. Wait, how many questions are left? Two. two. So they're still an eight point swing. All right. Your fourth question comes from the realm of the DCEU. How many points would you like to bet? Two from me. All right. Two from Woodburn. Remember, wait till we ask. Nico. I just keep it at zero. He can't catch up to me. That is true. So he bet zero. All yep. right. Plan All right. Scaredy cat. All, All right. right. So... Your fourth question here. What year did both of Bruce's parents die as revealed in Batman v Superman, Kane's favorite movie? <laughs> that is a lie. No, I, I've heard him say that, Kane. He's not lying. That may be Superman know, I'm, is a trash mm -hmm. bit. Five, it sounds to me like you just four, said it was best picture worthy. I don't Three, two, one. Markers down. Woodburn. I don't think I got it. 1987. And your winner! What's the answer? Uh, technical Knockout. The Cosmic Night Fury. Nico Suave Goli. We were looking for 1981. And thus you are wondering what I wrote, I wrote Martha. <laughs> Why did you say that name? <coughs> Why did you write Jeffrey Dean Morgan? That was his dad. Okay, Caleb? Caleb? Don't make me bend you over and spank you. All right, so I'll just the assault, click. and I am on the other side of a computer. All right, so with just that. Wait. Go ahead. So with that, uh, the final score, Nico with 13 and Woodburn with 6. Uh, it was a pretty strong match play between these two. They're going back and forth, pretty evenly matched. Nico uh, just knew how to uh, str strategize there in round 3 after having a strong round 2 with Disney. Uh, it, was, uh, it was quite the match to watch, actually. Uh, what did you think, Kane? Um, I think it was very interesting, and I think it comes down to the fact that Woodburn, he missed the DC question in round one. They missed the DCEU question in round one, and then missed the DCEU question in round three, and those are his strengths. So Woodburn wasn't able to capitalize on his strengths, while when Nico get a animated questions, he was able to capitalize. I think at the end of the day, that's a huge factor into it. Uh, the wheel was not kind to Woodburn, and it was ki very kind to Nico. I think it's very kind to the people over in the House of Night Fury. So I don't know if they have bought WheelDecide.com and just have it spun in their favor, because I swear I, I am having deja vu moments of like someone over there at House of Night Fury, just the wheel working in their favor. I don't know what you're talking about. So, you know, but at the end of the time, like, I posted a poll a while back. I was like, who's the one competitor like people shouldn't sleep on? And Nico ran away with that poll. Like, so I, I think Nico proved it today. Like, he won. He beat 
C Dub, who is a fantastic competitor when it comes to like the Dark Knight trilogy and all that stuff. And he struggled a little bit today. I don't know if it's just like first time playing in this league, just not used to it, um, or what. Uh, but hey, I thought this was a good match. Congratulations, Nico. Um, I think you played very well today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You know, for those of you who aren't good at math that are in this league, you might want to brush up on your skills because this is a big part of that round three is just knowing how to do math, knowing what the smart bets are to make and what the dumb bets are. And I just happen to know because I was good at math up until 11th grade because damn trigonometry is hard. <laughs> I know how to do my math. I know how to calculate what risks to make and not make and it paid off today. And, and he also real as for that wheel, I'm so happy it it keeps showing me love because uh, you know round one usually isn't all that kind to me, but uh, thankfully the wheel I don't know maybe it has some sympathy for me maybe it's the uh, the indigo ring of compassion I got on my hand here uh, or maybe it's the blue ring of hope because I'm just keeping a positive attitude and I'm getting closer to that championship one name down. Three names to go. Right. And none of them are Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Now, you can only play that card for so damn long before it gets old. The bottom can, line is... I, I can play that card me. until I fight you for that belt in the end because you're on the opposite end of the bracket of me. Now, what we uh, what we saw here today was really good. Uh, Woodburn, what were your thoughts today on the match? Let me say this first. Nico, you played great. Great win, honestly. Congrats to you. I, I hope you do well in the tournament. Best of luck to you. That being said, this to me, I essentially look at this like an IG league. Now, I don't, this is, I'm just one person, but I don't feel cartoons and bomb belong in this. But that's just me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with my loss. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy for Nico, but I'm a little upset. I'm upset at myself. Yeah, I mean, just a quick response to that, just because I feel like any questions for anyone else who is watching this. Um, the league is called Fandom. We base this off of things that have big fan followings. Uh, Disney and Pixar have huge followings behind it. They some, when it comes to the box office, they always make countless amount of, of money. Um, so it has a huge fan base, and that is why. We decided Disney and Pixar should be along with the wheel and with James Bond. I mean, there's 25 movies. There's a huge fan following behind it. This is not a geek-centric lead. This is a fan-centric lead. So that is my response to you, Woodburn. And, and I just want to, I just want to piggyback, piggyback off of that. There are categories in this league that I don't like either, but I don't complain that they're there. Instead, I'm going to watch the movies, learn, and make myself a better player because that's what it takes to be a champion. That may be true, Nico, but I'm not going to torture myself. All right. So I'm going to go over to our champion today. Nico, congrats on your win. Like, you played fantastic, and I have a question for you. Who would you rather play, Alex Warden or Jim Green in round number two? Now, I've faced both of these competitors before, but I've faced Jim in an in interdictum style uh, division. I've only faced Alex uh, in terms of one-on-one -on -one competition in wrestling-centered trivia. And so in terms of personal stuff, Alex Warden took my wrestling trivia championship back in December. I still have a sour taste in my mouth from that. It's been six months since then. I still, I still think about that day. And I know for a fact that Alex has similar weaknesses to Woodburn, which are my strengths. But you can never sleep on Jim Green. And, you know, I've recently tried, uh, I spent many weeks trying to up my Potter knowledge to be up there with him, to compete with him. And it worked out in my favor. Who's to say lightning won't strike twice? So you're kind of saying maybe Jim Green a little bit? Personally, I'd prefer Alex just because. We have a history. We, uh, we have a history that, you know, it wasn't as animatic as my history with, uh, with Jim, but there's some more personalness to it. Right. Alex Warden was like my brother for many months. I was the first person in Omega Club to win a title. 
And he, unfortunately, he was the one that took that title from me. It was like the big brother locking me out of the bathroom when I really had to go. And I want, I want a little bit of payback. And I, I, I feel like if I can beat someone who was just in a match to compete for uh, the number one contendership to the There Will Be Trivia Singles Championship, I feel like that's a big notch underneath my belt if I can beat someone like Alex Warren. All right. So Nico versus the Omega. That would be an interesting matchup, but we have to see who will win that matchup. And that'll be next week on June 15th when you see Jim Green taking on Alex Warden, which is actually the first match of that day. So we'll find out who Nico will play there. But hey, we're not done for today. We also have another match going on later today. That is going to be our very own Caleb Coho taking on my friend, my team partner, Ryan Permison in a fandom fight league. Well, curious to see who will win that one. I think that's also going to be a very <coughs> close one. Um, but hey, I'm really you know, curious. But and you know, before you before you say anything else, I have just one last word, couple words to say to Ryan because I feel like I've seen shouted and yelled at him forever. But you know what, Ryan, I'm done. I'm done telling you that you are not going to beat me again because lightning will not strike twice. You will not beat me in my world twice, my friend. I am going to ground and pound you and destroy you in front of everyone. You are the first stepping stone that I have to cross to get to that belt because I finally have a shot at a belt, and it's going to be mine. I don't care if I have to be Robert Parker, Chance Ellison, whoever I have to take on afterwards. You're the first step, and I can't wait to take you down. Oof. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. Sorry, guys. All right. So, yeah, Caleb saying he's going to beat my partner. That's funny because that's not going to happen. And, hey, if you guys haven't seen the first two matches today, go check out myself versus Jessica Morgan. That's an interesting match. I don't want to spoil it, even though Nico's kind of already spoiled it. Uh, also, go check out Jake Marangoni taking on RJ, the Red Ranger. That should be a very fun match. Go check that one out if you haven't seen it. And I'm going to send it to our commissioner, our Emperor of Alpha team. What did you think of this fantastic match today? Does is Nico like is the whole standing thing like really getting to him? Like his brain's flowing, or is it like is Jessica Morning and like just training him so hard to the point where it's like he's becoming an actual like, competitor people need to watch out for? Well, I don't know about the whole training regimen of House Night Fury. Uh, I slept on that meeting, thank God, because I needed a nap. Um, but. I will say through, because I've seen Nico's performances for a while, both of these competitors' performances for a while with all these different leagues, and it, it does. It seems like Nico's getting better and better step-by-step, uh, step, and that's kind of helping him. It's kind of like an 80s montage, but instead of five minutes, it's taken a long time. Um, and Nick, er, and, and Woodburn, he just had bad luck with round two. Uh, the betting, he probably just wasn't used to that format and it didn't go his way. But I, I wouldn't hold hold that against him because I could see if he does get his strengths and what he knows, he could be a dangerous opponent. It just revolves around getting that that he knows to run away with that and he could, he could beat anybody. But Nico has improved a lot and that's good for him. That really is. We'll see how much that improvement takes him throughout this tournament. And Caleb, any final thoughts before we send to our competitors to plug anything they want to plug? Uh, this was a very evenly matched, uh, very competitive match. I'm excited to see uh, how far Nico goes here because he just showed the entire league how round three is done, and he could be very, very scary uh a very scary person to face throughout the tournament. When it comes to round three and animation and all of his strengths in general, he was very strategic today, very cunning, and it was uh, very impressive. And Woodburn, uh, I don't think I don't think this is the last we've seen of you. Uh, I think uh, study up on that animation a bit, kind of uh, get over the kiddie uh, mentality of it. But uh, I think if you study up a bit more, you could come back and be uh, one of the strongest forces we have in this division. Uh, but it was just uh, it was a really evenly matched, really good match today. Um, all right, let's send it over to our winner, Nico Suave Rigoli. What would you like to plug, my friend? All right, let me go through the list here. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a list. God, okay. Last week, I had a Star Wars Full Metal Iron Man uh, uh, call-out match with Keith Cornelese. Uh This past Monday, because we're in the future, uh, I had a six-pack challenge Play and match over in Movie Warzone. It was against Ryan Permison, the most annoying person I've ever played against. 
uh, Michael Campbell, Hunter Chambliss, Mr. Woodburn over here, and Mr. McMillan stock footage over there. Um, I don't know when this match is going to drop, but um, Hunter Good Chambliss day. and myself in TV Throwdown. Um, I have an upcoming sports battlefield play-in match uh, against Dan Skip Allen. Not as hopeful about that one. <laughs> um, at some point, I will have um, Irina, forgive me for not knowing her last name at the moment, in There Will Be Trivia Singles. Um, Kay McMillan, I have you in Arrowverse at some point in the future. Um, Chris Woodburn, Grant has told me that you and I have a comic book match coming up at some point in the future. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, and let's see. The, um, if you saw the results of the six-pack challenge play a match over in Warzone, you know what happened. So at some point in the future, I will be taking on UFC fighter Smiling Sam Alvey in Movie Warzone. Once the tournament has concluded, I look forward to that. Tim is tired of me talking, so I will just finally say, at Nico Swirabilly, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and right here, Sports Battlefield Multiplex Entertainment. Thank you all. A lot of words very fast from Nico Suave Rigoli. Uh, let's kick it over to our unfortunate loser today, Chris Woodburn. Where can they find you today? Uh, you can find me on YouTube, Christopher Woodburn, Twitter, Chris Woodburn83, Facebook, Christopher Michael Woodburn. If you do Schmodown reactions, trailer reactions, come join the MTS Fan Reaction League. Oh, a little, a little beaten down, but I, I, I know Woodburn will come back strong. Um, Let's kick it over to Emperor Tim Smith over there. What, where can the good kids find you? Probably force choking Nico uh, in the future, but you can find me here as always. Multimedia or multiplex entertainment here: YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff to help us build this up for you, the fans, for great matches like this, great shows in the future coming. Uh, plenty of talks with that. Looking forward to a lot of them. And, you know, you can always find me just uh, hanging out in these games, watching them, and being a dirty emperor that Kane always sees for some reason. But, you know, I think Kane has an obsession with the evil dark side, and he needs help with that because I'm a good as guy. I'm Yoda a good guy. Hashtag heal watch. I'm a good guy. As Yoda always I'm says, I sense much fear in you. I uh, think you're a great boss, Tim. I think you're a great boss. Quick you know, I think so, too. I think so, too. I love job security. Now let's throw it over <laughs> to my not-so-job-secure partner. My not-so-job-secure partner, Cade Stockbridge McMillan. I don't know what you guys are saying. I feel like I'm I'm you don't have to worry about anything. I would never turn heel. I'm not going to be like Mike Kalinowski and turn heel out of nowhere because that is stupid. Um, but yeah, you can find me across the interwebs at K97 and 97 Drop and it was with XCVII. And you can also check me out on IMDb at K McMillan because yeah. All right. And uh, you can find me at Caleb Coho, K A L E B K O H O, across uh, all platforms uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube's where I do my music stuff, Coho Productions, where I do my movie stuff. Uh, you can find my group, The Forks' debut album, Shoot for Teams, on iTunes, Spotify, wherever music is consumed. And you can find me uh, with job security co-running uh, the <laughs> Multiplex Fed of Fights division here uh, um, here on Multiplex Entertainment. You can find me coming right up next, kicking the crap out of Ryan because I want that belt. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and we will see you all real soon. What is up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? This is Stockford McGee bringing you guys your starts for the match. In this matchup, we have Christopher Woodburn taking on Nico Suave Rigoli. In the first round, both competitors had a okay start. Nico would go 5 for 10, and Woodburn would go 4 for 10. But in round 2, Nico would get his category by player's choice and go 4 out of 5, while Woodburn would go 2 out of 5 in scores and soundtracks. And then round number 3, both competitors ended up going 1 for 4, but because Nico had the better round, Two, he was able to maintain his lead and win the game. Uh, Nico would go on for a 52% rate and Woodburn would go for a 36% rate. This has been Stock Footage McGee bringing you guys your stats for thy match.